Yeah, um, AI is getting totally out of hand. Since 2022, the hottest topic in pop culture, entertainment, in the investment sphere, and literally all of the world has been AI. Now, AI, or otherwise known as artificial intelligence, has always existed for the most part. It's mainly been behind the scenes and something that a lot of people on the forefront or just regular users could not understand or comprehend or help. Didn't even realize it was being used. And it's probably what you wouldn't consider AI to this day. And a lot of those applications have very much practical uses. But I swear stuff like this, a picture of LeBron and Steph Curry kissing, has no sort of practical use. And today's AI is totally different than what we were expecting the use of AI would be. When I was younger, AI seemed like this mythical tool in order to make our lives better. You know, it always seemed like the future with the Jetsons. We would have robot vacuums, NPCs and video games, you know, graphic designs will get their fill on the screen if you kind of put the picture kind of off a little bit. Like, I think it's kind of cool how you can present an app, an image, and it could take that image and stretch it out into an entire video based off of like existing videos that are already on the internet, prompts or whatever the case may be, like that one meme of the boyfriend looking back. Now, none of those images slash videos are perfect and we can clearly see some flaws in it. But over the past, couple years it's only gonna get better because of how much we're just mindlessly dumping into AI programs. There have been many applications or programs that have popped off and been labeled as cool. I know I made it through the pandemic by using AI a bunch of times through school. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I already got the degree. But I also mean things like the AI yearbook trend where you put a picture of yourself in there and they turn you into different characters that will go to a normal high school. Or when your favorite team wins a championship so you put it in that little yachty meme and it goes kind of crazy. Or hell even the one where you put a picture of yourself into a search engine and you could possibly put somebody else in there but it spits out a baby picture of you and usually all those things are used out of good clean fun and sometimes they can be very helpful and even bring a heartfelt moment back to people's minds like when this person used ai to animate a photo of their mom and themselves as a baby and it turned out to be a cute moment between the two that they shared and let the memory live on of their mom forever kind of creepy but in a cute way right i think the problem that i have with this is that people are always going to do nefarious things with these seemingly sentimental moments we've already seen ai go awry many different times in just a couple of months like those people who took those baby photos that i was talking about earlier and would sell them to the black market by putting you know adultified imagery on them selling baby nakies on the internet it was a totally weird time and was very pedo type behavior and don't get me wrong some of the technology is cool but it can also be extremely dangerous because people don't don't know what they're doing or how to use these things properly. I think that that's why a lot of this stuff has caught on so fast as opposed to any other tech integrations or inventions that have come about of the past couple years. One, its use is very helpful when used properly. You can do a lot of mundane tasks and run them through AI softwares and stuff like that and come up with answers or starting points or whatever you need for your day-to-day -day life. Two, it is kind of cool. You know, I can see the allure of having the funny, trendy image on your thing and people always get caught up on trends on the internet. So I'm not going to be obtuse about that. But three, and more importantly, it can also be used for evil. Now, I'm not saying this is a good thing, but this is a reason why a lot of people are latching themselves onto it is because people are taking these AI videos and using them for nefarious purposes, mainly to push different narratives and stuff like that. But some of them can be even used for criminal activity. Now, of course, because it's election season, there are going to be people that use this type of AI content to push their obviously fake narratives or news in order to sway masses or make fun of their favorite politician without realizing how much influence they have. And those things can be seen and written off as harmless fun, as entertainment, as something to get a laugh at until it's not. The tools are becoming more readily available. The access of use is becoming easier and more and more people are starting to use AI with intention to do harmful things to different people in the world. I opened up the governor position for Kim Reynolds in which she fell behind I endorsed her did big rallies and she won now she wants to remain neutral I don't invite her to events just in we can now call the 2024 presidential race for Joe Biden My this morning an emboldened China invades Taiwan Financial markets are in free fall as 500 regional banks have shuttered their doors. Let's go this morning, citing the escalating crime and fentanyl crisis. 
Who's in charge here? It feels like the train is coming off the track. Now, this isn't about me making a political stance. Y'all know I'm going to stay out of all that stuff when it comes to this channel. But the idea that we can put out potentially fake news, fake mass information, and have people who are supposed to be trusting certain people believe in this stuff because it looks too good or the AI is deceiving them is very scary for what's next to come in our future. A lot of people are extremely iffy on all this AI stuff because it's become so fast, so heavy, and it seems to be so dangerously real that people can't even decipher what's real or what's not real. That's ridiculous. You got five seconds to smash it. You got five seconds to smash it. 500 for 500. For 500. Three, two, one, throw it. Of course I want to hit it. That wall got to have a hole in it. That wall has to have hey, a hole in it. I'll buy you a Hellcat. I'll buy you a Hellcat. Wow. What if I go ask my mom if I could put a, a hole in the wall for a Hellcat? She say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, get, get it on video. Get it on video. All right, so, so you like, you like dead ass. Yeah, yeah, dead ass. Go get your mom. Go get your mom. Let me talk to your mom. What the hell? <laughs> hey, mama, I just got this amazing opportunity. I'm talking to this YouTube streamer right now. His name Aiden Ross. He said if I put a hole in the wall, he'll buy me Hellcat. He right here right now. He want to talk to you. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to send him. I'm going to buy him a Hellcat, and uh, I'll give him 20 grand on top of that. You going to fix that motherfucker, too, if he don't give it to you. All right, I got you. I'm going to fix you. What the hell is right, this? No. Get the back. Get the back. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. <laughs> What the hell is... Even your favorite creator isn't safe. Now, we could chalk that up to this kid being young, dumb, and full of love for his favorite content creator. But ultimately, that is a dangerous sign because I even thought that that was pretty shoddy work. Now, I can see how it's believable. I can see how it's very believable. But at the end of the day, AI is only going to get better from here. And where are the grandmas in these situations? Because they should have definitely stopped that young man from putting the dog on hole in his wall. They should have said, Aiden Ross, Aiden Boss, Aiden Floss. I don't give a damn about none of that. But this is so crazy that they were able to convince him to do such a thing because of how dangerous AI is becoming. See, I'm not a fan of AI when it comes to those that are unsuspecting and they're making it to be these trendy things because we know that Aiden Ross and other content creators are known to go on stream and do different challenges and give people cash money and stuff like that. And you're thinking this is the opportunity for you to get that Mr. Beast resurgence and you be the next trending topic on Twitter of somebody who got $20,000. But even on a smaller scale, there are a bunch of different apps that come out that tell you, hey, if you pump in 10 to 20 pictures, do this many hands symbols will spit out some sort of image and i get fomo and boredom and just the idea of missing out on all these things but is it really worth it because you don't know what happens when you pump all this content into this large language model just for it to spit out some sort of image to you and there's plenty of reasons as to why these things are dumb because people don't read these terms of conditions when they go ahead and click accept so they never know what could be going on with all these things there have been so many people in recent times that have been victimized by ai one of the ones that i want to talk about is marquez brownlee see ai requires existing data and sets of examples and information that already exist in order to come up with the different results. So that means these programmers are utilizing, you know, pictures, videos, essays, any other projects or other works that are being made by content creators or just people that exist on the internet, putting it into their system and then spitting out results as if it's their own. Marquez Brownlee took to Twitter one day and said, well, 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 runaway AI video generator was trained on YouTube videos without permission, including 1600 plus MKBHD video. And who's to know how he they even got that information which i think is why this is so scary was it some the email that he signed up for or was it connected to some app that he downloaded or hell was it just because all of that stuff is free use and under what is it fair use clauses or whatever that's so crazy that they can take his hard-earned work put it in their large language model and spit out whatever they want this doesn't include how many dozens of other celebrities get caught up in different leaked online videos of them being nude or them being involved in sexual acts we know what happened to taylor swift earlier this year and some last year where her her pictures were put all over the internet of her in seemingly sex positions and those were really done up very artistically if that's what you want to call it but it's caused such a stir that she had to take it to congress but since then pictures and videos have gotten so much better and they have been putting people in real life situations and superimposing their faces on the people or just putting better ai renditions of famous celebrities on people's bodies and having them have sex with people and calling it a leak of some sort hell angel reese even talked about how she was victimized by that same situation after she lost in the woman's college tournament 
earlier this year. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore. I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things and I've stood strong. Another big reason why this is an issue to me is these companies are going to capitalize off of human nature. There's this idea that people want to be a part of every single trend. They want to not miss out on any opportunity that they are going to unknowingly submit their data and information to whomever and whatever will take it. And as a part of capitalizing off of humans, there is an element of human loneliness that people are going to capitalize off of that is just plain scary with this other AI tool that people have coming out called Friend. We made it. Woo! <laughs> I don't know how to woo very good. That's fair. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, let's go! Are you serious? I hate this game. Take notes, baby. Oh, man, you guys suck. Bro, you look like the back let's of the go. Let's go, let's go. Dude, what? We've seen the movie Her. by Pedro Pascal. This can't end in a positive way. And I think this whole friend shit has to be the creepiest thing going on in the AI sphere right now. I think my biggest issue is that there aren't too many safeguards around AI right now. Hell, there aren't that many safeguards on the internet, to be quite honest with you. So AI is just another element of internet stuff that's going on that needs to be protected quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I know that Congress and the Supreme Court and all these governmental entities have had conversations about it, but it can't be coming fast enough. Because for every good thing that AI does, which I think there are some good applications for AI. There's somebody that's always going to take your AI pictures, put it on the dark web, superimpose it onto some sort of child and have you be the next feature on CP.com. My advice is to beware. And by beware, I mean, be overly aware. Do not include yourself in any of these internet trends. I think there needs to be more internet safety classes. Every time I see one of those, hey, answer these 25 questions. What's your elementary school? What's your first dog name? I see those things and I lose my my mind because all of those are basic security questions and people don't know that these are one of the ways that people attack people to get their identity and so if we can't handle those things if our grandparents can't handle the windowsill salesman who comes and scams them out of money if people can't figure out which link is actually going to take you to the latest update of pop tropica or which link is actually going to take you to have your whole computer brick i don't think that we should be participating in submitting all of our information into this ai database for them to do whatever they want to do please don't send your picture into no website to get dogified. That's the stupidest thing in the world.